um, the MTA board. I'd also like to start off by thanking Matt Lara and Richard Cairo for their efforts, efforts to keep the neighborhood in the Portola uh, motivated to seek a positive resolution to finding a legal permanent solution to preventing large oversized vehicles from parking, littering, uh, dispensing human waste, and taking advantage of the neighborhood. I'd also like to thank Supervisor Ronan and Carolyn Goosen for their continued efforts to keep our concerns at the forefront and working with the neighborhood and agencies within the city to find a resolution to this growing problem in the Portola. Thanks to the MTA for your efforts uh, to date. However, the areas detailed in the report that are designated for signage fall short of what's needed to correct this problem. On page two under description, paragraph A, details the streets that are to receive the signage to limit overnight parking of large oversized vehicles. While this is a good start, it falls short of what is required to eradicate the problem from our neighborhood. The designated areas need to include the areas within the neighborhood, including all streets surrounding the park. On October 9th, one day prior to our last community meeting, SFPD made a sweep along University Street. The PD sighted and even towed a couple of motorhomes between Bacon and Felton. Those motorhomes that were sighted moved. However, they just parked around the corner on Felton Street. And this was acknowledged by Supervisor Ronan during our December 10th meeting. At least one of the motorhomes that was towed was back on the University Street within a matter of three days. The point I'm trying to make is that if only half the streets are posted to prevent large vehicles from parking overnight, it will only push the issue to other streets within the neighborhood. Page three under alternatives considered acknowledges that the neighborhood has requested a larger area be considered for signage in anticipation of the relocation of oversized vehicles. However, the Department of Homelessness and Supportive Housing outreach has been limited to just the four sides of the reservoir, and further outreach should be conducted before proposing the vehicle restrictions on other blocks. Thank you. I ask why. Thank you very much. Next.